Hi guys, today is Friday the 13th, 2017. I'm Scott from High Score Headquarters, and let's take a look at this week's news in the world of video games. Welcome to Roundup. Did Pokemon Go have something to do with influencing the 2016 presidential election? Well, according to a report from CNN, this may be the case. Russian actors connected to the Kremlin posted across online servers such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and YouTube under the name Do Not Shoot Us, with posts and videos about police brutality. Now, what does this have to do with Pokemon Go? Well, in June of last year, one of these accounts used a Pokemon Go competition to send people to police brutality sites and catch Pokemon and name them after the victims. This was meant to sow more discontent among the populace on racial disparity. Pokemon Go was at its peak with a mobile base of over 25 million users in the United States alone. If you want to know more about this story, we've linked to the report in the description. Is Injustice 2 coming to the Nintendo Switch? Well, NetherRealm Studios director Ed Boon wants the game on the system. From the game player's perspective, it would be fun to play Injustice on the Switch. I do think it would, Boon said in a comment to GameSpot. You could have tournaments, everyone could come out with their own systems, and you could have a whole structured tournament and parallel gameplay and all that. Nothing is presently confirmed, and Boon himself admits that putting the game on the Switch could mean some shortcomings in the final product. Have you been interested in VR, but it's just too expensive to warrant purchase? Well, Oculus may have the product for you. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg made an announcement on Wednesday at the Oculus Connect event in San Jose, California. Oculus will be releasing a standalone VR headset called the Oculus Go. The Oculus Go supports an LCD display with 2K resolution and reduced lens fare. If you're interested in Oculus Go, it will release in early 2018 for $199. Well, that's our roundup. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at HighScoreHQ. You can also follow us at Twitch at forward slash HighScoreHQ. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said on an announcement Wednesday that